Hey YouTube, welcome back. So both the 2.0 update to New Horizons and the Happy Home Paradise expansion pack are well and truly out in the wild now and we are already discovering so many new things that either Nintendo didn't announce or unlocking features that the game doesn't really tell you about until you unlock them. So I thought it would be a good idea to break down 20 features that we can unlock by playing through Happy Home Paradise which basically highlights the Happy Home story mode. Plus many of these new features will eventually be used Used on our main islands with the most notable being able to decorate our villager homes on our island. Now you'll have to bear with me as it might be a bit wordy as there's quite a lot to get through. Anyway once you've designed your first vacation home you can begin to unlock these new features with every vacation home you design. Now this is only a rough guide as some features you unlock during designing a particular home and sometimes can't be used until the next vacation home you design and others are taught as you progress but in between designing homes but you'll see what I mean as we go. So to start, after completing your second vacation home or two jobs as we'll refer to them going forward, you'll unlock the Paradise Planning Network which is essentially a portfolio of other players vacation homes which is great for getting inspiration or following certain creators. After three jobs you'll see Wardle doing a spot of cleaning and you'll unlock the polishing feature we saw in the direct, however you won't really learn how to polish the furniture items until your next job so this is one of those features that require requires three jobs to be completed to learn of the feature but you don't actually learn how to implement it until the next job. After completing the fourth job Lottie will introduce the other buildings on the island and tell you she's thinking about creating facilities. You can go ahead then and decorate the school project first. At this point you can then access various room sizes which you can then use as part of the vacation home design process if you want to. After five jobs you'll earn the new DIY recipe. It seems it's a furniture item from the vine or glowing moss set which is pretty cool however you also unlock some storage space on the first floor of the planning offices which you can use to store items. After six jobs you'll unlock all new uniform clothing items which you can change into at any time as well as the DIY crafting bench on the planning office first floor. We also get a pay rise which is awesome earning 9,000 pokey per job. After seven jobs you can finally unlock the amiibo functionality and invite villagers using amiibo cards to the happy home archipelago and of course design their vacation homes. At this stage though it is limited to regular villagers so Tom Nook will have to wait. After 8 jobs one of the coolest items added in the update is unlocked and wall partitions can be used or decorated in vacation homes. For me as someone who finds it difficult to design rooms I think it will make the process much more easier as we can finally divide up the room a bit which will make for some fun designs. After 11 jobs we get another pay rise, this time earning 12,000 pokey per job which I'm not sure is entirely necessary but it's a nice bonus. After 12 jobs have been completed we can actually customise our polishing effects which is super cool. We also unlock a cafe and restaurant facility and unlock the lighting customization settings too which again will really level up our designs. After 13 jobs we can actually make use of the Happy Home Paradise Planning Network app on the Nook phone and visit other players creations and homes. Consider it a mini dream island but for villager vacations. Moving on after 15 jobs have been completed you can use DIY and custom furniture you've crafted inside vacation homes which adds even more possibilities to an already massive library of items we can use. After 16 jobs we can unlock roommates, yay which means we can finally bring villagers together in a single room and design the perfect vacation home for them. After 17 jobs the soundscapes feature is unlocked allowing us to customise the background noise or ambience of a vacation home. After 18 jobs you can add a second floor to vacation homes giving us even more space to work with and of course larger homes for villagers. After 19 jobs it's pay rise time where we can now earn 15,000 pokey per job which is kind of ridiculous really however we also unlock the ability to invite special characters and NPCs using amiibo such as Isabel and Tom Nook which is super exciting. After 22 jobs and probably several days at this point we unlock the hospital facility and earn a massive 25,000 pokey plus even more uniform items have been unlocked. After 23 jobs the soundscapes feature gets an upgrade offering even more unique background sounds to choose from. 
After 25 jobs, we gain access to even more furniture as we can now open our furniture catalog when decorating and pull in items from there. Once again, increasing the size of the items library significantly. And the one we've all been waiting for, after 30 jobs and 30 vacation homes have been created, we unlock the ability to decorate our villager homes both internally and externally on the New Horizons Island. Have you must talk with Tom Nook first at the resident services to trigger it. Also, an apparel shop facility is unlocked back on the archipelago. Now, that's a pretty accurate list of what's unlocked and at what stages these hidden features become accessible. However, there are several mini side quests and villager requests in between doing these jobs that also need to be completed to continue working for Lottie, including things like taking photos for the planning network, celebrating various milestones with the Happy Home planning team, and even revisiting previously decorated villager vacation homes to tweak them. But still gives you a good idea of the roadmap of Happy Home Paradise and what it takes to unlock these features. But what do you think about these hidden features and are you happy to grind through and unlock these extra customization options? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for supporting this content and until next time, have an amazing day, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.